Could you be ignoring a spiritual law that determines the success of your life? Hello, graced people, and welcome to episode one of Grace Digital Book Club. Today we are covering Pride versus Humility by Derek Prince. The way up is down. About the author. Derek Prince was a world-renowned Bible teacher. He was born in August 1915 and passed away in September 2003. He studied Greek and Latin at Eton College and Cambridge University, England. He also studied several other languages, including Hebrew and Aramaic. During his service with the British Army in World War II, he had a divine encounter with Jesus Christ. Derek Prince had a daily Bible program and he reached millions of people teaching the Word of God. Derek Prince is well known for his clarity when teaching the Word of God. Here are my five big ideas from Pride versus Humility. Number one, the way up is down and the way down is up. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled and he who humbles himself will be exalted. This law applies to everyone, whether evil or good, just as the law of gravity does not discriminate between anyone. This law also applies to you. Hence, for anyone whose intention is to be lifted, humility is required. And the reverse applies. Pride, which is thinking that you are more than your fellow man, leads to a downfall. Number two, you must be a servant. Matthew 20, Jesus called them together and said, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be your slave. We will definitely need to think less of ourselves to make progress to greatness in God's kingdom. We climb up to greatness by serving, nay, slaving. Number three, humility is your responsibility. Jesus says in the Bible, he who humbles himself. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. James 4, 10. The question arises, do I wait for God to humble me? In the Bible, humility is seen as our responsibility rather than a request. Number four, have a God perspective. We learn from the parable of the rich man who planned to save his riches to have a peaceful soul that the rich man had no perspective of God. He ultimately met a fate that all people without God's interest in their heart face. We will need to think about our riches in heaven even as we think of our wealth on earth. Most people may feel that this present time is all we have. However, we as Christians must have an eternity mindset. The eternal mindset will change the way we live our lives. Number five, humility before God and man. Ephesians 5.21 says, be subject to one another in the fear of Christ. The way we treat God can be seen in the way that we treat our neighbors. You cannot treat people in a terrible manner and sincerely believe that your relationship with God is fantastic. If you treat your brother, colleagues and friends whom you see terribly, how much more God who you cannot see? Review. Pride versus Humility is the kind of book you don't know you need until you read it. As Christians, we fight spiritual warfare, hence we have to practice spiritual laws, and spiritual laws seem foolish to flesh ways. The flesh sees humility as a form of lowliness. However, humility leads to spiritual exaltation in the spiritual realm. Lastly, I learned that when you show yourself to be humble to others and treat everybody the same, then you are spiritually progressing. This book is an eye-opener and is a definite must-read for our club. 
Meditate on this. In closing, I will like you to meditate on this. Do I treat everyone like they are children of God? Thank you for listening. Make sure to join Grace Digital Book Club to get book summaries every day on audio, beautiful PDFs and in video. Tomorrow we discuss the one proof that you need to ensure that your vision is from God. Make sure you don't miss that. Members get email notifications every morning. Books are a gateway to deep understanding from great men of God. However, it can be very tough to find time to buy and read these books. That's why... Over the past few months, we have been developing the Grace Digital Book Club. Grace Digital Book Club gives you key takeaways from the world's top Christian books in under 10 minutes. Now you can wake up every morning to a wisdom-packed content every day from powerful Christian books. Make use of our beautiful PDFs to read five powerful takeaways from great Christian books and life-improving materials. We also provide audios so you can listen and learn on the go, or while cooking or exercising. Let the inspired Word of God fill your bedroom and house. Or if you still love the magic of our videos, you can get a book video every morning in under 10 minutes. Get ready to receive insights on vital areas of your life from the Word of God. Also join a private Grace Digital Book Club to discuss all the lessons learned from the powerful books. For less than the price of a physical book, get access to 31 book audio, video and PDF summaries every month. Grace Digital Network has served over 600,000 people on YouTube and Facebook for over two years and now we are happy to present Grace Digital Book Club. Grace Digital Book Club. We seek to create supernatural growth and victory by creating the largest online Christian book club. Visit Grace Digital Book Club on Patreon and begin enjoying these benefits now. Educate, motivate and inspire.